Hi guys, <laughs> this is a bit of a weird angle, so I hope you can see okay. Um, I'm trying to angle it so you can see my nails properly, because today we're doing a little uh, nail varnish test, a little Barry M haul. Um, there's 20 altogether. There are these ocean mermaidy colours and a lot of like metallic -y, sparkly shades. So this collection is Ocean Dreams, if you can't see, Ocean Dreams. Um, Molten Madness, these are all metallic -y, sparkly ones, and Chrome Crazy. Um, there's 20 in all. Um, I believe that all Barry M's stuff is vegan, but if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, this I'm using at the moment which are my nails. Um, this is just nail hard notes from the pound shop, so I believe it's vegan. Because I think a lot of the pound shop makeup is vegan. I could be wrong. Please, if you know of something I'm using which isn't vegan, please let me know in the comments. Because sometimes I still get it wrong, even after years. Um, these are just liquid. Um, it's like almond oil and stuff. It hardens your nails quicker. And it uh, moisturises like round your cuticles. Because I get a lot of skin that comes off around here. And I rip them off and make it sore. So I was hoping with the almond oil it might help with that mess so um yeah let's try um and see what what these look like um if you see any of the products that i'm using in any video that aren't vegan please let me know in the comments because i don't want to be using them if they're not vegan and sometimes i have no clue what i'm talking about like in the vegan um beauty products video where I thought linalool for some reason I got it into my head it was some sort of product like a like a byproduct of lanolin from wool I don't know why some somehow this was in my brain and um yeah so the, those soaps were vegan and they're very cheap from home bargains if you actually want to get some for um a little stocking filler or something or for yourself for your bathroom I noticed that as well there's a lot of um, hand wash, you know, in the pump, um, what they call like a hand wash pump things that you get. Um, a lot of those are now vegan. Um, I've noticed a few, well, you know, not a lot, but I've seen quite a few. So you just have to have a look what, which ones they're vegan and whatnot. Um, so if the, the budgie's right next to me, <laughs> so if he's cheaping away, I'm sorry. Um, so these are really pretty, the, um, what are these? Molten Madness, these are really pretty. So, put them to one side for a second, what are these? Um, from the Chrome, what was it? Chrome Crazy. So this one is, oh yeah, they all say vegan on the back. Uh, where's the camera? Somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that there, that little, uh, tiny black bit. That is the, it's a leaf symbol and says vegan next to it. All of those ones say vegan. Uh, so do these, the Molten Madness. So I'm gathering, so all these. Um, yeah, so this one is Razzle Dazzle, number 849. So I'll try this one first. Mm. It's like a pinky copper. I guess it would be rose gold, would it? Mm, not bad. Quite a cute colour. Might be nice if you're getting married. So it's not like a boring peach or something. It's quite a soft shade. This one is a bluey silver. This one's a nice one. Uh, what's this one called? This one is Glow Crazy, number 845. I actually got this from Argos. I was buying um, a tripod for my camera from Argos and I saw that they had some Barry M makeup. So these are all on Argos in the UK. Oh, that's a bit dark. It's more like a gunmetal kind of <laughs> grey than bluey colour. It has got a bluey tinge. It's um, like a dark blue grey. Um, what's this one? This one is Rain On Me 841. Oh, that one's so shut. Um, C 
silver one. Mm, that's quite a nice one. And then there's like a goldy yellowy colour. Yeah, it's more like a blonde, like a gold. It's like a silvery gold colour. Like a blonde, I would say. What's this one called? Uh, Bright Lights 849. I don't think these were that expensive from Argos either. Mm, a bit pale. Maybe for a wedding as well. If you've got like a gold um, bridesmaid dresses or something. All of them are quite nice though. What does it say? Shake well. Apply base coat before use. Yeah, I think a lot of Barry M's um, colours and even in the nail varnish, a lot of them are really bright. So they tend to, the pigment in them tends to stain your skin or your nails. So they usually advise a base coat. So I've got one on of clear nail varnish. Um, this one is from the Molten Metal. This one is called Holographic Sunburst number 832. Um I'm horrendous with painting nails or anything. I get it everywhere. Oh, this one's nice, actually. Really nice. It's like a pinky colour. Probably a salmon colour. Um, I love anything glittery. <laughs> as you've probably noticed by now. If you watch any of my videos. So these are the molten... I oh, know what they call chrome, chrome crazy. Um, these colours, which they're not too bad. Actually, now this silver's drying. It's like got a green tinge. So they're not too bad. And that's the first one of the molten madness. What they called? Uh, holographic sunburst. That might look better with two coats, but it's quite a subtle one. Quite a nice one. This one is called holographic flare number nine oh seven. I should have probably shook them all up first, but I'm an idiot. And I don't think of these things till it's too late. <laughs> so this one's a nice, like a pale blue. It's like a greeny blue. It looks like the colour of my mum's wedding dress actually when she got married, which is like a beautiful blue. Pale blue. It's really pretty. I'm hoping she's kept it somewhere, but I bet it's been thrown out. A bluey green one, it's beautiful. The uh, glitter in that one's nice, like holographic looking. This one is called Pink Lux and it's 902. This is one of the ones I was most excited about because it looked really nice. Sorry if you can hear the washing machine beeping as well, it keeps going on and on and on until you go and stop it it drives you absolutely mental so you have to go and turn it off before you go insane oh this is quite a cute pink quite a subtle one not exactly what i was expecting from the bottle i expected it to be a bit brighter but it's nice there is another pink but it's more a coppery pink oh shit oh no we're okay this is like a dark grey purple it's called Celestial Silver 904 I should have shook them all up first I'm sorry I don't ever think of these things till it's too late I think these molten metal ones could do with a couple of coats on to really uh, get the colour to look as it should Mm, that was not too nice. Mm, it's got some nice flecks of colour in, but it's a bit. Mm, and as you can see, I've smeared it everywhere. Uh, perhaps with another coat on, it might look okay. Uh, we've got two more before I can take them off. Uh, Holographic Lights 902. This one's a uh, really silvery one. I might pop this actually over the 
this one. I'm going to put it over this silver. See what that does. Not a lot. As you can see, it's not really done a thing. So let's do it on its own and see what that does. Come on, baby. Not a lot either. This one's a very subtle one. Very, very subtle. Maybe put another bit on. Mm, very, very subtle. Hardly anything at all. You, I would have thought that over the top of that one would have been better, but it's not really done a lot over that either. Maybe if I give it another go over. No, still nothing really. Maybe over the blue. See, over the blue it's quite, kind of um, taken over with the silver a bit. But we still can't really see the glitter all that well. Yeah, so that's... That one's a bit... Cack. What's this one? Crystal blue. I was excited about this one as well because this one looked really pretty. So, don't disappoint me. <laughs> Oh no, it's a purpley one. I thought it was another pink one, this one. But this one looks nice. And there is a copper looking one. So we'll see what they look like. Joey's just playing with his toys. <laughs> if he starts banging and stuff, he's just playing. I tend to take him into whatever room I'm in. Because I don't like him to be left on his own. His previous home, he was left on his own all the time and just ignored. That is a really nice one, but I've got it everywhere. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not exactly uh, dainty, shall we say, when putting them on. It's a nice colour though, really nice one. That's one of the best ones so far. That was Crystal Blue, number 906. Um, I'm going to have to take them off now to try the others. So this one's called Pink Ice. I'm just going to try this one over this colour because it looks to be a similar colour. So we'll see what it looks like over another colour. Some of them are quite tight. Oh, that, that looks really nice actually over that one. I don't know if you can see very well. Try those two on their own in a min. Let's just try. Um, let's put another coat on these ones. See if they look better with the second coat. Sorry if this video is going on. I might post it in two parts because it might be a bit boring. Oh yeah, they do look better. Better with the second coat. You can see the uh, colours a bit more. So. Uh, what other ones did we use for them? We used this pink seemed to be if I didn't mix it up enough, but it looked darker in the bottle than it does on the nail, so I don't know. Um I'm not really no, it hasn't made much difference. It's still quite a subtle pink. It looks a lot darker in the bottle. I was excited for this one. I'm not so excited now. Uh, and we've got this greeny one. It's a nice one. Holographic flare. That's a nice blue. I'll try and you them all again after so you know which one's which so you you can get whichever one you like I don't know if you can buy these singly or if you have to buy the box of them but as I said I got them from Argos online and they they're not that expensive really they're um not too bad that does look better with the second coat it's like a gunmetal purpley blue not too bad. I've got like green flecks in there as well. Better with the second coat, I think. So 
sorry, now we've got the bleeding clock bong in. It's never quiet in this house, never. <sighs> now I do the silver again. The silver is very subtle. Mm, still quite nice though. And the blue one, the blue one's really nice. I think this blue one looks a bit mermaidy. Pretty. Oh yeah, really pretty. I really like this blue. Really pretty. Obviously, not so pretty the way I've daubed it on, but such a beautiful colour. So these ones are from the Molten Metal collection. There's two more here that I'm going to try on their own in a minute. Um, but this is the one so far. And these are the Liquid Chrome. There's the bluey one, um, the more blonde gold one. A silver one and a rose gold copper one. So... Um, uh, the ones that we've used so far. And this is how they they look. Well, obviously when you apply them, they'll look better than when I apply them because I've got them everywhere. So they're not too bad. These ones are quite pretty. Yeah, so they're not bad. We've got these ones to try. Um, I've just got to attempt to get it off without making a mess now, which is probably going to be impossible. So again, please, if you ever see me using anything that isn't vegan, please let me know because sometimes I'm honestly in a on a different planet <laughs> so I can make a lot of mistakes by not really being very aware of actually what's happening around me <laughs> I can be kind of in my own little world so please 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 tell me if you see anything that isn't vegan or cruelty free there are a lot of brands that have taken over companies and the brands use other companies brands where they test on animals and then they take over a company that didn't used to and then now do so please if you see, see me using anything like that please let me know because I don't want to use anything that's um, tested on animals or full of animal products <sighs> sorry about this see unfortunately I have no clue how to edit videos yet so <laughs> you kind of have to sit through the boring crap parts because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm honestly like a granny with technology. There are probably grannies who are much better than me. In fact, I don't doubt it. There will be. <laughs> oh God. Some of the glitter ones do take a lot of rubbing to get off. You might be better with the like acetone um, nail varnish remover to get them off. The darker ones especially tend to stain around your nails. So I'm going to roughly get them off. I'm just going to go over them again just to see if I can get uh, the majority of it off. Because the glitter tends to go down the side of your nails, stain all your fingers and everything. I've managed to get glitter everywhere. See, I love me some glitter. I do love the sparkles and stuff, but I get it everywhere. And that's the trouble with glitter products. They're everywhere. It's stained everywhere where I've managed to get it under my nail and everything. How does I get it under the nail? It's a bit worrying, really. I don't know how I manage it. Right, that'll do. Good enough. So let's open this one. The, uh, what's it called? Ocean Dreams. I would if I could actually open the packet. Uh, okay. This looks quite a cute one. You could 
actually buy these singly on um I don't know if it, yeah on Argos I think it was you could buy these singly and there was like three colours that I wanted to try and then by the time I'd added it up it worked out better to just get the whole lot and then just sell whatever colours I don't like. So we have these two from the what are they? Molten Madness collection. I best put the lid on that before I knock that over because I'm likely to knock it over. I'm absolutely hopeless, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Right. Molten Madness. This one is Holographic Rocket number 907. Obviously I haven't got a base coat on now, so these are gonna stain probably quite a lot. This is quite a cute one, but again it's quite a subtle one. Very subtle. So maybe with a second coat that'd be okay. We'll see that that one with the second one in a minute. This is the last one from the molten metal. This one is pink ice, even though it's copper. 848. Yeah, so I don't know if you can buy these singly on like eBay, but on uh, Argos you could buy the uh, mermaid one singly. That one's a bit a bit subtle as well. Um, oh yeah, the more you put on, the deeper the glitter makes the colour. So we'll try that one again. Then. So let's try these under the sea ones. This is a cute one. I like this one. Well. I like the look of this one. It may be disappointing when it's on. So this one is also vegan. Shake well, keep from heat, apply base coat before use. This one's called Dragonfish. Number 906, Dragonfish. I love that. I love dragons as well. So it's just a win-win for me. It's pearlescent, shimmery, pink, dragons. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think with a different colour underneath, a base colour underneath, similar to that colour, it would be nice. It's quite nice though. The more you put on, the deeper the shade, obviously. Oh, how cute are these? These little bits around the top. Those are adorable. So that is the dragonfish. It's a nice one. We use the pale purple one now. This one's called jellyfish. Number 850. Jellyfish. This is a shimmery purpley pink. Oh, that one's cute. But again, it's more holographic, so it's more green than pink. That holographic um, colour inside tends to make it more green. So maybe if we deepen the colour up, it might go a bit more pink, but. I don't know. This one is called Pink Tail, number 903. Oh, bloody hell. I think the Hulk tied some of these. Shut. Sure. Not tied, what is it? Screwed. So you, sometimes my brain does not work. Oh, this one's very subtle as well. This is like a peachy pink when it's actually on. These ones are very subtle, these two. I think these are all meant to go over like a base coat of a similar colour. So like obviously like a pink would probably make that stand out a bit more. Though so they're very subtle on their own. Purple one's nice though. So this is a probably gonna be a very light one as well. This one is Angelfish 903. These ones have got really cute names. What are you doing baby? You're playing with your toys. He was listening to David Bowie last night and dancing and singing. It was the cutest thing. Under Pressure was his favourite one. He was dancing up and down his perch and nodding and it was so cute. This one's a very subtle one as well. These probably all need a couple of coats and probably would look better over a colour. I think they're all very uh, thin. Sea Turtle. Number 908, this one. Yeah, so you can, can buy these ones singly on Argos or the box for. Might be worth getting the box for because they are all quite cute. 
adorable colours. This one is a bit of a letdown. I thought it would be more green. It's actually pink. Hmm. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a letdown. It actually looks. This one looks more green than this one. So I don't know what that's all about. But sea turtle number nine oh eight. This one is butterfly fish number eight four one. It's a cute one. Baby blue one. I swear the Hulk's tightened all these shut. Can't open the sodding things. So this one's what? Butterfly fish. Cute. Oh, this is a nice one. Like a bluey holography pink. Hmm, they're very subtle. They're all kind of shades of pink by the look of it. This one is Oyster Beach 906. I'm assuming these numbers that I'm giving you <laughs> are actually the numbers of the nail varnish. And I'm not just giving you some sort of weird product code for something. I'm hoping I'm not giving you a random... See, this one's purpley when it's really pink. So these are all random colours. I don't know if you can see the, these colours. They're all sort of shades of a greeny pink holographic type colour. Let's try the last one and see what this one looks like. Before that I'm just going to put another coat on these two. The molten ones or whatever they were. Molten madness was it or something? Right let's put another one on there. And the purpley one. Now it's dried it does look more purple but it looks very grainy as well so you might need to put a uh... oh yeah that's better with a different coat uh, a second coat on top you might have to put like a top coat on to stop them being so grainy that's it with another coat on that's it's quite nice with another coat that's the coppery one and then shimmery ones let's try the last shimmery one and stick another coat on them Can't open sodding things. This one's called Coral Reef, number 906. Is it going to look at all coral coloured? Oh, yeah, actually, it is. Uh, it actually looks very pink, if you can see it in the light. Hmm. So let's try and put another coat on these, see what they look like. Double dot. So the purple one. I think they seem to have made more effort with these ones to uh, make them look cuter in the bottle and with the adorable names. I really like the purple one. I would say the purple one's the best one. Dragonfish number 906. It's a really nice one. Uh, then is it this one? I have no clue what's happened. What I've put on what, so I'm just going to shovel anything on and hope for the best. Well, this one's a kind of green one, so let's go for that one. Mm, that looks better with the second coat. Sea turtle. I don't know if that was the one I actually used on that finger. Uh, hmm. If that was the blue one I used. What colour was it? Angelfish, do I use that? Pink tail. Which one would be pink tail? I don't know. I don't think it matters because they're not looking at all like the bottle, so <laughs> I think it doesn't really matter what colour you put on first. Oh no, that does look the right one. Yeah, it's like a peachy pink. They are cute though. Especially if you like shimmery things. I'm a sucker for a shimmer, a glitter, anything shiny and colourful. So they are cute. Even this one, this one's a nice one. Yeah, they're, they're cute. Yeah, oh, you like them too. Joey approves. <laughs> Bless him. He's just happy to be sat with me. 
because uh, he's a rescue and his first home he was just shoved in the corner and forgotten about like his owner would bugger off for days on end and leave him on his own so he had no one to talk to no one paid him any attention he had hardly any toys or anything so I've spoilt him since he's been here haven't I? I spoil you yes because you deserve it don't you? you deserve to be spoiled yeah some of them are very subtle colours you can't tell from these couple probably any difference um, I don't know which one I did first I'm going to go this one this video has ended up really long and I didn't intend it to be this long I think I got these two the wrong way around it doesn't really matter they pretty much look the same You need a few coats and you need a base coat with these, I think, unless you want the really subtle look. Because these are certainly subtle, some of them. Well, colour wise, the shimmer's there, the holographic shimmer is there. It's the colour inside that is the, the subtle part. They do shimmer a lot. And these molten ones, they are, I don't know, they look gritty, but they're not, they're, they are smooth. And that's actually dried quite quick as well. I'm surprised how quick that's dried. The last one, the coral reef one. So, they are better with the second coat, but you can't really tell from like those three. Uh, but that whole hand, really, <laughs> apart from the coral reef. They could all be the same colour, really. They're all a bit... Mm, just a bit non... Non-coloured, are they? They're all sort of... You can see a tiny tint change, but not really anything drastic. So I think probably this one, this one, this one are the, the ones with a real colour difference. And this one's quite a cute one. But these, maybe... Mm, maybe not so much yeah, I can't really tell because I don't think it zooms in very well it doesn't like autofocus so probably yeah those four are probably the best ones this is a really nice colour the molten metal but I don't know if you can buy that singly you might be able to on ebay or something that one's a holographic rocket so yeah I'm sorry this is has been really long and a bit random, a bit rambly. Um, I hope to see you soon though. Bye!